Every day, more than 200,000 people hurtle beneath the Hudson River, unaware they are traveling through a pair of crumbling tunnels built before the Titanic even set sail. These narrow, century-old tubes, linking New Jersey to New York City, serve as the fragile spine of America's busiest rail corridor. But here's the terrifying truth. If just one of them fails, the entire Northeast Corridor could grind to a halt, triggering billions in economic losses and paralyzing the daily lives of millions. How did America allow such a critical link in the nation's infrastructure to age into decay? And more importantly, what is being done about it? This is the $16 billion Hudson Tunnel Project, a development that promises to dig America out of this crisis, literally. Part of the Gateway Program, this monumental undertaking will construct new state-of-the-art rail tunnels under the Hudson. It's an engineering challenge of historic proportions, one laced with politics, perseverance, and high-stakes urgency. In a country long accused of letting its infrastructure rot, could this be the turning point? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The Northeast Corridor, which stretches from Washington, D.C. to Boston, is the most heavily used passenger rail corridor in the United States. At its heart lies a glaring vulnerability, the North River Tunnel, constructed in 1910 by the Pennsylvania Railroad. Designed for a very different era, this twin-tube structure was never intended to carry the volume of modern train traffic it now supports. Today, it accommodates both NJ Transit and Amtrak trains funneling into Pennsylvania Station in Manhattan, the busiest train station in the Western Hemisphere. Superstorm Sandy in 2012 revealed the severe vulnerability of the North River Tunnel, as saltwater flooding caused lasting damage to its electrical, structural, and signaling systems. Since then, the tunnel has required ongoing maintenance just to stay operational, with crews working within narrow overnight windows. However, these stopgap measures are unsustainable. Officials warn that without full rehabilitation, a major failure could shut down one or both tubes, having capacity, and triggering widespread disruptions across the entire Northeast Corridor. To address this growing vulnerability, momentum began building for a long-term solution. The idea wasn't entirely new, an earlier effort in the early 2000s, known as the Access to the Region's Core Project, aimed to build a new tunnel, but was canceled in 2010 over cost concerns. In its place, the Gateway Program was launched, led by Amtrak and key regional partners. The Hudson Tunnel Project emerged as its centerpiece. Planning accelerated in the late 2010s, and with the Gateway Development Commission established in 2019 to oversee design, funding, and execution alongside agencies like New Jersey Transit, the Port Authority, and the U.S. Department of Transportation, the project finally moved from vision to reality after receiving federal approval in 2021. The Hudson Tunnel Project is a colossal infrastructure effort with an estimated cost of $16 billion. It forms a key segment of the broader Gateway Program, a $30 billion suite of projects aimed at revitalizing the entire Northeast Corridor rail system. The Hudson Tunnel portion is focused specifically on improving cross-Hudson capacity between North Bergen, New Jersey, and Penn Station, New York City. The project comprises two major elements. First, it involves the construction of two new single-track rail tunnels under the Hudson River. These tunnels will span approximately 4.5 miles, with segments running through the Palisades in New Jersey, beneath the riverbed, and under Manhattan's west side. Second, once these tunnels are operational, the project will shift to the rehabilitation of the existing North River Tunnel, which will be taken offline one tube at a time for comprehensive repairs. These upgrades will ultimately double Trans-Hudson Rail capacity, allowing four tracks between New Jersey and Manhattan, improving reliability and supporting future increases in rail service for both Amtrak and New Jersey Transit. The engineering of the Hudson Tunnel Project combines complex urban tunneling with precision planning and environmental safeguards. It begins in North Bergen, New Jersey, where excavation shafts will give rise to tunnel boring machines that will dig through rock and silt toward the Hudson River. This phase includes the Palisades Tunnel, 
a one-mile segment that must cut through the challenging rock of Bergen Hill, requiring careful planning and reinforced construction. As the tunnel boring machines progress eastward, they will descend beneath the Hudson River using pressurized shield tunneling, a technique designed to handle unstable soil and high water pressures of the riverbed. The twin tubes will be lined with precast concrete segments, ensuring long-term strength, safety, and durability. Once the river crossing is completed, the tunnels will approach Manhattan's west side, emerging beneath the Hudson Yards development. Here, planners had the foresight to build an 800-foot-long concrete tunnel called the Hudson Yards Tunnel Box in advance, preserving a pathway through one of the city's most intensively developed neighborhoods. This tunnel box will seamlessly integrate the new tubes into the existing Penn Station track network. The second phase, rehabilitating the existing North River Tunnel, will be a complex undertaking that can only begin once the new tunnels are in use. It involves removing damaged components, installing modern systems, and fully waterproofing the tunnels against future flooding. The project also involves surface infrastructure improvements on both sides of the river. These include track realignments, ventilation shafts, emergency egress points, and power supply systems. All work must adhere to rigorous safety, environmental, and accessibility standards, making the Hudson Tunnel Project one of the most technically complex tunnel undertakings in North America. The funding journey for the Hudson Tunnel Project has been long and politically charged. Early efforts stalled under the Trump administration due to disputes over federal cost sharing. However, the arrival of the Biden administration in 2021 revived momentum, with federal transportation officials making Gateway a top priority. In July 2023, the project received a record-setting $6.88 billion FTA grant, the largest in the agency's history. The project also benefits from broader federal infrastructure funding and low-interest loan programs provided by government agencies. The rest of the funding comes from Amtrak, New Jersey Transit, the Port Authority, and state governments of New York and New Jersey. All partners have committed to a 50-50 federal-state cost-sharing model. As of 2025, construction on the New Jersey side is underway, with full-scale tunneling operations expected to run through 2027. The new tunnel system is projected to take 10 years to complete, with full operation expected by 2035 after which the existing tunnel will be rehabilitated by 2038. Despite its urgency and broad support, the Hudson Tunnel Project faces a host of challenges that complicate its execution. Urban tunneling beneath the densely developed west side of Manhattan poses significant engineering risks, including unexpected ground conditions and interference with existing infrastructure. The need to maintain uninterrupted service through Penn Station adds another layer of complexity. Any misstep in scheduling or coordination could disrupt rail traffic across the Northeast Corridor. Coordinating multiple stakeholders, including federal agencies, state governments, Amtrak, and local transit authorities, has also proven difficult, particularly in procurement, labor, and regulatory approvals. Environmental concerns, such as noise, vibration, air quality, and community disruption remain key issues in affected areas like North Bergen and Midtown Manhattan. Beyond logistical hurdles, the project has drawn criticism on political and fiscal grounds. Some argue the $16 billion cost is excessive, especially when compared to similar rail projects abroad. Others view the project as emblematic of American infrastructure inefficiency, plagued by years of delay. Despite its complexities, the Hudson Tunnel Project is poised to deliver transformative and long-lasting benefits. It will provide much-needed efficiency and resilience to the Northeast Corridor, ensuring that rail service continues even during maintenance or emergencies. Economically, the project is expected to create over 95,000 direct and indirect jobs and generate more than $19 billion in economic activity during construction. It also supports broader national objectives, promoting climate-friendly transportation, reducing highway congestion, and facilitating high-speed rail expansion in the future. For commuters, the project promises better on-time performance, reduced delays, and an overall improved quality of life.
The investment also helps secure the Northeast Corridor as a globally competitive economic region, strengthening connections between key cities like Boston, New York, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. The Hudson Tunnel Project marks a pivotal moment in the future of American infrastructure. With construction now underway, the project has overcome years of delays and political hurdles, uniting federal, state, and local partners around a common goal. Once complete, it will not only enhance reliability for millions of daily commuters, but also serve as a national model for modern infrastructure delivery. Its success could pave the way for future high-speed rail expansion and greater investment in climate-resilient transportation. The journey is far from over, but the path forward is finally taking form. What do you think of this mega project? Leave your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.